Hi guys, welcome back to Gamerjube. We are here to look at the Luigi's Mansion 3 trailer from E3 2019. So let's uh, bring it back to you to uh, let us know what uh, we're all talking about today. Yeah, so we did a discussion prior to E3 of what we kind of wanted, what we thought we were going to get, mm -hmm. and just sort of talked about that. I thought it'd be cool to like now, once we've seen a gameplay trailer and some more, a deeper dive into the game to kind of get back with you guys. I have some questions laid out and just sort of chuck it to you guys, see how we're feeling about Luigi's Mansion 3 as a whole now. So the first question I'll pose to you guys is, what did you think of the gameplay trailer or the overall trailer that was shown here? Jade, like, what did you feel? Did you like it? Did you dislike it? Yeah, the atmosphere is way better now. Like it, yeah. the lighting mm. reflecting off the floor, on the stairs, on the walls, it is so atmospheric and back to that creepy vibe that mm. I think we were all kind of hoping for. Um, the poltergeist looks great. Um, pol poltergeist G O O or G zero zero goo. Goo. Um, and it just seems, yeah, like it's got good gameplay while still being equally puzzly and mm. and adventurous and creepy. What about you, Nick? Did you like it? Yeah, I definitely think it's an improvement over the last trailer exactly. we got as well. I was, we were all of us, we were worried about it mm. being like like. Not as not as like textured, not as dark, but I think this really put all those fears to bed. Honestly, I'm very like I'm very happy with what we've seen here. Yeah. For sure. I liked I like this trailer a lot. I really think it solidified to me that it is going to be a great game, and it yeah. looks like a substantial experience. Like Luigi mm. is getting his proper game, mm. and sure, it still isn't the Luigi's Mansion one vibe that I was like dying for, but it looks like a perfect mix of one and two here. Yes. Yeah, like immediately it looks darker, it looks more in line with that atmosphere mm. from the original, but with some of the puzzle and gameplay mechanical elements that introduce more intricate level design that number two did so well here. Mm. And yeah. obviously intro like introduces some of the things that we'll talk about a bit later. But I, I really like this and I was pretty over the moon about how good it looked. You guys know yes. my reaction. I was pretty stoked at this trailer that it looked really great. So I'm really happy. But I think the massive question that we need to pass you is, do we like Gooigi? Mm. Nick, do we like Gooigi? I feel like I'm the minority, but I, I like Gooigi. I, I think he's a cool addition. I think he's like solving puzzles with mm. him as well. And like what you see, like you both have to like, you need to work together to lift up the heavy watermelon mm. and stuff like that as well. I think he's a good addition. I hope they don't utilize him way too much, mm. but I don't know. I like him. I think he's a cool addition. And I, that's- I and like him too. I that's, think that's, he's cool. That's, that's the thing. He's cool. Initially in the first gameplay like trailer and all the first trailer we saw, I thought there was spirits in the back, but now the final yeah. it's actually goo in it's, the back. It's you know? Gooigi. Yeah, he's just it's Gooigi out. just Part hanging out. Poltergeist G00. Yeah. He's but yeah, cool. I, I like it. Yeah, he just he just poops him out. He's got Gooigi with him. It's his little, little friend. What do you, do you like Gooigi, Jade? Oh yeah, I think he's perfectly naughty, and he's a great addition. Um, yeah, I, I definitely don't think he'll be in the majority of the, the game, but for a good amount of puzzles. So mm. that that'll be a a good twist. Yeah, and also like like what you guys said, like you don't want to see him throughout the whole game. I think he's gonna be probably the the most prominent new feature here but yeah. you also got the slam function and yeah. you got like the suction shot so i think they're going to spread them out mm -hmm. and there's probably some more that we don't know about and i think that is what i was saying where it's like you're bringing kind of the best of luigi's mansion 2 which is like the more unique ways of dealing with puzzles and adding to the gameplay instead of just having like a spooky scary place and you're yeah. exploring you're doing more puzzle and more like dynamic things with that so i think gooigi and the slam and suction shot add to that yes. but as i said while still being true to like the original in it's like more darker like immediately this trailer opens up darker right it has the oh, fog yeah. air and it's like it's kind of making a statement like we get it like it didn't look that kind of creepy from the first one yeah but yeah i think it's Gooigi is totally in line with luigi's personality absolutely and even like the facial animations of luigi and the the, the expressiveness of the characters here looks great yeah and also uh. luigi like he it's like his soul gets sucked out of him when <laughs> yeah. Gooigi takes control yeah. it's and he can go through spikes and through gates. It looks cool. It's a really unique function. So I think it's strange. It, yeah. I think it's really cool. And it fits the tone of Luigi's Mansion, right? Totally. Yes. So yeah. I really, I really liked it. But um, what do you guys feel about the Scare Scraper, which is the multiplayer edition? It was in Luigi's Mansion 2 Dark of the Moon, if I'm correct. But yeah, it's like a time thing where you got to find, I think, the toads and, and fight ghosts in like this sort of big 
Scarescraper. I'll start off and say that I really like the multiplayer aspect of number two, and it looks even better here. It looks surprisingly detailed in its environment for a multiplayer game where you're just funneling yourself through like randomly generated rooms, I think. But it looked fun, and it looks like a good way to implement multiplayer without taking away from the single player core yes. story. What do you think, Jade? Yes, I was gonna say, if you had told me that Luigi's Mansion does have a multiplayer section, I'd be like, oh, that's not really necessary. And it's not, but mm. as long as it's not taking away from the mainframe game, uh, then that's all good. And that's uh, what it seems like it is. It seems like the main hotel giant, you know, mm. a mm -hmm. bunch of levels and, and designs of each room looking different. It doesn't seem to take away with that multiplayer aspect and the multiplayer seems really cute. It seems so fun to just mm. get all your Luigi's together. And and be you, naughty. You be naughty together. You get the naughtiness out of the room and you find your toes. Did you like it, Nick? Um, yeah, look, I'm not the biggest fan of timed like time attack things like that mm. as well. And I wonder if you can get more time if you, you know, like do certain tasks or kill certain ghosts or stuff like that as well. But um, yeah, I, I, I like a little bit. Like I said, like Jade said, um, it's only if it's only just an addition and not like a major part. I'm fine by that. But yeah. Hmm. And I think another question, or like sort of like a statement that I would pose to you guys is, mm -hmm. Luigi's Mansion Two had mission structures, right? Yeah. And it had like multiple mansions you visit, and in number one it was one singular location. I think. Now I'm starting to come around to the hotel idea because at the start of the trailer, we get that really kind of spooky number one vibe, right? Mm. But it's like with the addition of these multiple floors, you can bring a new personality each floor. Each so it's like you can get the two mm. and the one and you can get the best of both there, right? Yeah. So it's like, I'm really excited to be able to have your zany number two and, and have those sort of crazy things. Like it looks like there's a production set, yes. a forest place, and it's like, you're, and even like a nightclub yeah. looking place of yeah. one of them. So it's like you're kind of getting the best of both worlds. And I like that you have that variety, but also not taken away from the creepiness. It doesn't have to all feel like a cartoony version of itself. What, yes. Do you guys like that idea? Yes. I think the the levels each having their kind of own theme or each room mm. even. I'm not sure which one it is, but um, that's so stylish and cool. Yeah, do you like that, Nick? Yeah, I like that idea. It's it's and it's it kind of it is kind of like going to different mansions. You're just going to different floors. Yes, like I said, you can still get. And that it feels, but it still two. feels cohesive. Yeah. Yes, yeah, it does. Yeah, it, it has that cohesion. Is, you're in still one central focused place, but you go up in different levels, and they're all different themes, which is, I think is fun. Yeah, and also it looks like we're getting return. We get we still get the standard ghosts right from number two that I'm not crazy on, but it looks like there is more unique ghosts in the game. Maybe not as portrait ghosty as we would have wanted, but there does look like there is more unique ghosts that have specific mm. things. Personality. And you sort of see glimpses of that yeah. in the trailer. And I think my worry was that Luigi's Mansion 3 wasn't going to be substantial. And that's not really a worry anymore. They look like they're taking it seriously. Yes. They look like they're putting a lot of love and care into it. And I'm, it I'm pretty stoked. I think it looks great. I, a big worry, not a worry, but like a big weird thing that I think maybe needs to be talked about is like, it didn't have a date. Yes. Yeah. Which is kind of weird. It's very confusing um, because it, it looks quite ready to be released, hmm. you know, October time. It's Halloween. -y. October would have been my guess, oh, right? They're going to do think? a final drop at another direct. Right. They might have an August direct and then yeah. just drop it like date on August. Then. Yeah. yeah. But um, also. Still strange. But yeah. Is, I think yeah. another question that I'll ask is like, what do you want to see in a game? In the game? Like, what do you want to see in the game? Mm -hmm. Like, from what we've seen now, what else would you like to see? For me, if I'm going to start is, I'd like to see what they've shown and just, mm -hmm. like, stretch it out, right? It's like, I want to see the sort of spooky bottom floor levels be a big thing. I want to spend a lot of time in there, like an hour or two hours, and be able to kind of explore my own pace and not feel like I'm just getting funneled through this more cartoony yes. story. Yeah. Yes. And I want to, I want it to be like an explorative adventure, right? From number one, but have the personality of number two. Yes. That'd be my ideal Luigi Mansion 3. And I look like I'm kind of getting that. What, what, what did you guys, what do you want to see? What do, what do you want to see more from this that you haven't seen? I want to see some really detailed rooms mm. with cool, like, cobwebs mm. and kind of fogginess on the floor. And booze. And booze. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, just him looking so scared and terrified and, mm. yeah. What about you, Nick? What do you want to see that you haven't seen already? Well, I definitely want to see it act a lot more like Resident Evil with exploration, how, mm. like... 
I don't want one area to be that's it. Now it's done onto the next level. Mm. I want to. I want you to go back to places yes, with back. new mechanics. Exactly. Like, yeah. and I, yes. uh, exactly. Like I'm like I'm kind of like a Metroidvania kind of thing where you go back because you've got this mechanic now. Like Gooigi go. couldn't get you to new areas you couldn't before. Yes, exactly. Mm. Right. That'd be cool, right? But even like the plunger can do things. Like, you could break doors down or walls down on the yeah, like. Yeah. yeah. But also as well, like you, I'm definitely getting thinking, thinking the foyer is going to be like a main area which would be cool to explore as well. Yeah. And you can do things in that to main come foyer. Back to yeah. Constantly, yeah. No, and it does. It looks like it's got that diorama feel from number two, but the mm -hmm. more open feel and they're kind of melding it together. Mm -hmm. But overall, let's have a final question. Music. Do you think Luigi's Mansion 3 is going to be received well critically? Nick. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, I think it will. Yeah. Um, mainly because I think it's a good amalgamation of both games and I think it's just going to be a well-honed game, I reckon, yeah. as well. Jay? I think... Oh sorry, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Did you not keep going. It's okay. it's, I, I just think the multiplayer will be fine. It will, it will, it will be well received. Yeah, I think it will be. Mm, Jay, do you think? I think definitely because one itself got very well received, and two itself was also critically mm. well received. So three having this amalgamation of the two is just bound to be well received. Yeah, yeah. yeah I completely agree. I, I I would have said no based on the prior trailer. I would have said oh, I would I would have said middling. You know, it would have got fine. It would have got sevens and things. But it's like now it's like. I think it's going to have enough new unique gameplay elements and charm, to but also own. but also have that exploration and feel like a bigger title that it won't get bogged down in just being kiddish. I think it has yes. the best of both. Yes. And I think we're going to get that with Luigi Man's 3, and I'm, su I'm super yeah. stoked over it. Oh, and yeah. um, I'm really happy with Luigi yeah. Man's 3, and it's like my dream game. Mm -hmm. Like, not perfectly how I wanted, but I'm still stoked that it looks this good. It's better mm -hmm. than you thought it could be. Oh, definitely. It's a big step yeah. up. And even visually and, uh, uh, like, atmospherically, it's a massive step up from the previous trailer. Yes. So, do you want to sign us out, Jade? Uh, yes. We thank you guys so much for watching. And if you want to tell us what you think of Luigi's Mansion 3 trailer, let us know in the comments down below, and we will discuss with you further. So, leave a like, comment, subscribe, whatever you like. Thank you so much. Bye.